Hey guys, this is gonna be my equine first aid kit or vet kit. Um, I'm going to go through this pretty randomly, um, but first of all, I'll just show you what it looks like. It's pretty heavy, it's kind of big, but it has most of everything that I want in it. Um, so first off, I just wanna start by saying I think one of the most important things about a vet kit is that it never leaves where your horse is. So for example, my horse trailer is almost always at the barn with my horse, but if I were to take my horse trailer without my horse, I would wanna leave my first aid kit here so that way, um, if I'm gone, whoever at is at home has all the supplies that they need to care for a horse if something were to happen. Um, one of the also really important things that I think everybody should have, um, if you don't have it already, is a binder. And this I always keep in my trailer as well, along with my first aid kit. But it pretty much just has everything that I need in it. And the reason why I kind of wanted to include it is because, sorry, there's sirens. Um, is because this has all of my like horses vet records, um, teeth records, anything that anyone could ever need is in here and so it has all of like vet information and stuff like that. So one of the things that I have in here is like my Coggins, um, I have my 4-H ID papers I keep in here as well as like invoices from past vet, vet visits so it has like when I need when he'll need his shots done next year, things like that. Um, I also have a copy of his papers, um, receipts, and things like that. Um, I also keep, this is also really important, I think, is I keep like a record for myself of just different things. So I write down like every time that he gets trimmed, every time that um, I worm him and what I worm him with so that the next time I make sure I get something different. Um, things like that, how much money I'm spending, you know, all of those things I keep track of all those dates and I think that's really important um, I also just have like a notebook in here so that I can like write down information like what he's getting fed how much he's getting fed um, I have dental records again past like invoices um, and then I also keep like my trailer insurance in here as well oh and I also keep like my achievement book in here so that's a really good place to put it so you never lose it um, but that's pretty much what that is, and I just make sure that I always have this with me so that I have everything I can need. Um, yeah, so let's just get started with this vet kit. Um, first of all, I have this, like, thing from Target, um, first aid kit thing from Target, and it's just full of, like, all kinds of different, like, gauze rolls, gauze pad, things like that. I also have some gloves in here in, like, a bag, um, a little multi-tool to cut things, just some things like that, um, just, like, wound care type stuff. Um, on top of that, I also have tons and tons of vet wrap. I use vet wrap a lot, um, just for all kinds of different things. Um, either to like wrap up if there's a wound or something that I want to cover, or even at shows I use it to just, um, wrap up his tail, to keep his tail clean or things like that. Um, it can also be used for humans. I know we've definitely used vet wrap for various things, like if you sprain your ankle or something, it's really good. So that's kind of nice too. Um, on top of that, I also have, I always keep polo wraps with my vet kit just because, um, if you have like a larger wound or something that you want to cover the, whatever wound dressing you put on it or, um, gauze rolls or whatever, and you just want to like make sure that's really secure, um, polos are really good for that as well. Then I have, let's see. I have all different types of tape, so this is electrical tape, which I use for like everything. Same with duct tape, um, duct tape is great to tape hooves or anything that you need to like keep really sealed. Um, I also really like to use duct tape to put around um, like the cheek pieces of my halter if I'm going like horse camping somewhere or even like at the fairgrounds when he's in a stall. Um, I like to put tape around it and then I like to write my name and my phone number or an extra like emergency number. That way if something were to happen, um, I do have my number right there so if somebody were to find him or something was happening in a stall, my name, if my name's not on my stall and my number's on my stall, um, I'll still have my number somewhere so that they can contact me. Um, I also have like KT tape which is just a stretchier tape. Then I have some triple antibiotic ointment, which is really great. Um, a thermometer and some petroleum jelly. I have a thing of hydrogen peroxide. 
um, some saline like contact solution. This is just a generic like Walgreens brand. Um, then I also have a Walmart brand like iodine to clean out wounds as well. Uh, I have Corona ointment, which is really good to keep things um, moist. So if you like have to um, keep something from drying out too much, Corona is really good for that. It's also really good for scrapes burns you can put it on their hooves to keep their hooves um moisture in their hooves things like that but yeah i just have two different things of it just like a jar and then a tube of it i really like corona um and then i also have a wonder dust which is just like a char charcoal dust that you can put on wounds um a really old thing of blood stop powder which i'm not even sure if it's good anymore but i don't see an expiration date but i got this way back at like the feed store i think um i have a jar of kerosene wound clay um i was using this on cannon's proud flush for a while but i know kerosene has all kinds of different wound sprays and clays and different um mixtures and stuff like that but i really like this too i also put it on scrapes and cuts and stuff as well um on top of that, another thing that I always keep with me no matter what, it's always in my trailer, wherever Canon is, is um, sunscreen. This is a zinc oxide ointment, which is just like straight zinc oxide. It's way thicker and it doesn't smell like regular human sunscreen, so they tolerate it a little bit more. But Canon has a really white face, so I always have sunscreen with me. I don't ever want him to get sunburned at shows or whatever. And um, Then, let's see. Um, I also always keep a syringe with me. This is just like a thicker syringe. I think this is actually like a human syringe. But um, I always like to keep a syringe because I've had to clean out like horse's eyes before and it's really hard to get um, something in their eyes to clean it out. So a syringe is really good for that, but also like administering medication or anything like that. Um, just make sure you keep it sterile so that it's not gonna have anything bacteria or anything on it. Um, I also always keep a scissors in my vet kit along with a flashlight. This is also a really good thing to have um, and they're super cheap. I think I got this one at Walmart. Um, a flashlight is really nice. Sometimes it's dark. Sometimes you can't see as well. Sometimes you have to look. Um, I've had to look like at an eye before and not really been able to like, see even around the eye because it was dark out or things like that. Um, I definitely recommend having a flashlight in your vet kit. Um, a couple just, I have a Sharpie and then a pen just to be able to write things down. Um, I also have some extra hair ties, which might be good to keep like manes or tails out of the way. Um, and then I also have a pair of tweezers along with that. I have one of the other things I really like to keep as well is a bucket. Um, this one actually is like a collapsible bucket that you can like, I don't know, push out but, and just stores really nicely. I actually found this at Aldi, which is really random, but um, a bucket, so if you have to soak hooves or get water or whatever, I think a bucket is really useful. And then also a hose, which I just keep in my trailer as well um, for bathing and stuff like that, but with like a nozzle end so that I can wash out any wounds, anything like that. So if you're somewhere where they might have an, like a uh, spigot, but they don't have an actual like hose, um, that's help more helpful than using like a bucket on a wound. Um, the last thing that I have in my first aid kit is this um, card, which basically has his name, my name, my information, emergency contacts, um, and then all kinds of information, everything from his vet, his farrier, um, to a Cairo, like all of that, those different things. It has everybody's numbers on it. So that way, um, if something were to happen, I have all those numbers right there. And then I do also have like normal vitals on the back as well. The only other things I probably would mention is that I don't have Butte or Banamine right now, but that's something I would probably add to my kit. So yeah, that's it.